I'm Leanne Lee, your diva of DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable googly eye spider web picture frame. We are using the Sissix Big Kick, and I have to tell you, I have become obsessed with it. I have done so many projects with it, and I think you're going to love it too. So for this project, we're gonna start with a dollar picture frame. This is just an unfinished wooden frame I picked up at Michael's Craft Store. We are gonna pop out the back side of it and we're gonna save it and use it for later. Okay, so hold on to this. Then we're going to paint this in a charcoal gray. And I just used acrylic charcoal gray paint. Uh, this makes it easy because you can do it inside. The kids can paint it and you just want to get a couple of coats on it so that it's solid, okay? And then let that dry. Once you've done that, then you're gonna have a gray frame. And I want, at this point, to put on the little spider webs, and I wanna show you how to do that. So we're gonna take some white craft paint, just the acrylic craft paint. I'm gonna put it out on a little tray, and we're gonna use a small little artist brush. Now I just did the corners, so that's how I'll do it for this, but you do it however you want. The easiest way to do this is just to draw a line um, all the way across. It does not have to be straight. Have you ever seen a straight cobweb? No. So then you're just gonna make two more, okay? This gives us our outline for our spider web. All right, now we're just gonna start joining the sections together. So there's our one section. There's a section. And there's a section. Now this may seem crazy to you, but I know that I'm gonna have this sitting out. And so I like to do the edge too. So, you know, if this makes you crazy like it makes me, then go ahead and finish that out and then just make one more little line so that it looks like your spider web goes all the way to the end of the frame. Okay, so now that we've got this stage done, that can be drying while you're doing the project. We're gonna put this away. This came with your frame. This is your little easel that holds your frame. So before you get too much further in the project, you need to find where that hole is because this is, tells you, and then you're just gonna sit it down here. So this is the upside of our frame. So if you see from this one here, we have the googly eye paper in the center. So that's where we're gonna use the backing to that frame that came. We took a piece of scrap paper, just lay it over the top, cut it out, and that's what gives us our template for how big the center piece needs to be. So once you've done that, make sure, see there's a, there is a front and a, or a top and a bottom, we're gonna slide the paper inside there and then go ahead and put the backing in and close it up. That's gonna be the background now for our googly eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna make the fun hanging spider. And we are using our Sissix Big Kick and we're using a die cut from Tim Holtz and this one is candlelight fright, and it's so cute. It's got a candelabra and a spider, uh, hanging spider on it. So in case you've never used this before, you're gonna lay one of your plates down, then you're gonna lay your paper down. And for this, it doesn't matter which direction because it's the same on both sides. But if you had a pattern paper, you'd wanna make sure you had it in the correct position. Now I'm just gonna lay my plate right over the top and then I'm going to make a sandwich here with my other plate and then I'm going to slide it move those out of the way for you slide this into the machine and then just start cranking it out and it's so easy I mean seriously I'm using like no pressure at all so this is a great project for kids pull that out undo my sandwich take that out this is a two for one, I tell you. So I have my hanging spider, and then I also have a candelabra for later, and we'll use that on another project. Don't you worry. So now I've got my 
hanging spider. I'm gonna take some tacky glue. I like to use the clear just because if I do mess up, and trust me, I mess up a lot, uh, I can uh, hide it because it's clear. All right, so a little glue goes a long way for this project. So then I am going to just attach that starting at the very top and put it right there dangling on and I see a little place that I didn't put any glue, which will drive me crazy as it starts, you know, if, as it keeps moving around. So there we go. Okay, all we have left is googly eyes. I have four different sizes here, and that's just a matter of preference. You do whatever you like, and then just start adding these. You wouldn't even have to do this. I just like the dimension that adding this element brings to it. Now, tell me these aren't so cute. You know, you can get all of these googly eyes, all different sizes. And I love these little eyes on my spider. It's just the little details like this that can take a project, a craft project from just okay to absolutely fabulous in just a couple of steps. So I've got that. I'm just going to add a few more little googly eyes. You know me and the fact that I like to decorate in threes, so we're gonna put three sets on here. And that is gonna be the end to this project. Once again, this is a, about a $3 project. We have a dollar in the frame. If you have googly eyes, there's no cost at all for those. If you've already used them on another project, we've got a little craft paint. And then, you know, depending on what die cuts you already have, or if you have the machine, that would be your only cost. But Seriously, once you get it, you have project after project that you can make. If you like this project, please go to our website, divaofdiy.com, where you can find a complete supply list for this and all of the other fall and Halloween creations we've made this year. Thanks so much.